Good evening. We request everyone to please wear your face mask and face shield properly while inside the church. Thank you. Please all kneel for Oratio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Please all stand for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanksgiving and celebrate His love. Come to the table, enter His presence, feast with Thanksgiving and celebrate His love. 
We will now begin with our celebration as we commemorate the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we give thanks to our grandparents for the gift of life and their legacy provided in our journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. For our lack of faith, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For our lack of charity, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For our lack of hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray, O Lord God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and on this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son. Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, front and back, tablets that were made of, by God, having inscriptions on them that were engraved by God himself. Now, when Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, that sounds like a battle in the camp. But Moses answered, It does not sound like cries of victory, nor does it sound like cries of defeat. The sounds that I hear are cries of revelry. As he drew near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. With that, Moses' wrath flared up so that he threw the tablets down and broke them on the base of the mountain. Taking the calf they had made, he fused it in the fire and then ground it down to powder, which he scattered on the water and made the children of Israel drink. Moses asked Aaron, What did these people ever do to you that you should lead them into so grave a sin? Aaron replied, Let not my Lord be angry. You know well enough how prone the people are to evil. They said to me, Make us a God to be our leader. As for the man, Moses, who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. So I told them, let anyone who has gold jewelry take it off. They gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and this calf came out. On the next day, Moses said to the people, you have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord then, Perhaps I may be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Ah, this people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. If you would only forgive their sin. If you will not, then strike me out of the book that you have written. The Lord answered, Him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now, go and lead the people to the place I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Our fathers made a calf in the Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Then He spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, His chosen one, withstood Him in the breach to turn back His destructive wrath. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Father will to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits in, of his creatures. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowd. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was living. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what has been said to the prophet, I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has laid hidden from the foundation of the world. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It is an opportune time to give thanks to God for giving us the greatest gift in our lives to experience and to witness the loving embrace and journey of our dear grandparents, Lolo at Lola. We cannot achieve this moment of maturity without the aid of our grandparents. And in today's gospel, the parable of the mustard seed and the parable of the yeast is a parable of life that we learn from our grandparents. Life is a process of sowing in the manner that our lolos and lolas sowed that seed, they transmit to us the wisdom of light. Not merely knowledge, 
but the full understanding of the totality of that experiences that they have undergone the so-called ups and downs in life moment of dissipation and moment of achievement the very inspiration are but our grand parents it is like a yeast that was given to us as a form of value to protect and to embrace coping mechanism in the future. Kaya po kung tayo ay may mga problema, ang pinakamagandang puntahan natin ang lolo at lola kung tayo ay may problema kay mama at papa. Ang istorya ng ating mga lolo at lola ay hindi pwede nating tawaran. Sila po ang humubog sa atin sa maayos, sa matatag, at magandang tahanan. Kaya kung titingnan natin yung acronym ng Lolo at Lola, it stands for undying commitment, what we call love. The letter O stands for other-centeredness. The life of the Lolo and the Lola is being identified with the journey of their grandchildren. They become other people because in that otherness, it is but the extension of a caring home. With that undying love and other-centeredness, the Lolo and the Lola live as lasting legacy for life. I still remember when my Lolos and Lolas were still alive. When I have a problem, the mere embrace of my grandparents they don't need to give solution, but the embrace is the answer to your question. Iba kung magmahal sila, doble, katulad ng pagmamahal nila sa kanilang mga anak. Eto ngayon, mga apo. Kung ang mga anak ay nabigyan ng tamang kinabukasan, ano pa kaya? ang kanyang mga apo. At kung anuman ang lapses ng mga magulang, si Lolo at si Lola ang sasalo ng lahat ng yan because they have the best legacy and life. Kaya po kung may mga senior citizens tayo na tinitingnan sa ating pamayanan ang ating respect ay napakataas sa kanila. Hindi nila aabutin ang ganoong taon o gulang kung wala silang iniwan sa ating mga alaala na babalik at babalikan natin. Si Lola, as the last letter, she has the five A's of communication. Nagsimula sa kanyang sinapupunan. The first A is affection. It is not the only concern, but totality of her love. The second A is attention. It is the quality time that they are giving to us. Kaya, Ang Lola, always available anytime. Affirmation. Kung hindi maganda ang takbo ng ating buhay, si Lolo o si Lola, 
hindi siya makikialam. Kusang loob, hahayaan ka na lumapit sa Kanya at kusang loob, ibibigay sa iyo ang pinakamagandang payo. Okay ka, okay ako, okay tayo. The approval. Maliit na bagay nakikita ni Lola sapagkat in the becoming of her children, nakita na nila yung lapses sa apo. Alam na nila kung ano ang solusyon. Kaya palaging may positive approval and, and, and at the end, the appreciation. Kapag tayo ay nag-a-appreciate kasi we would like to identify ourselves to the others. The best appreciation is to see our journey and them. Kaya po, ang sinasabi nating gratitude ay ibinibigay natin sa kanila from the womb until to the tomb. Salamat, Lola. Si Lolo naman, ang pinakahuling letra ay letter O. Kung siya ay other person, si Lolo, siya ang nagbibigay order sa loob ng pamay, sa loob ng tahanan. Siya ang nagbibigay ng direksyon. Siya ang nagbibigay ng disiplina. Ang tawag natin doon ay order para maayos ang daloy ng ugnayan at buhay sa loob ng tahanan. Pero paminsan-minsan, naaalaala natin ang mga simbolismo ng akronim na ito kung wala na si Lolo at si Lola. Sa araw na ito, we give thanks to God for the gift of our grandparents. If they are still alive, sana po sa araw na ito, huwag niyong kalimutan ang magbigay ng pasasalamat. A gift that you can give to your lolo at lola is a loving embrace despite of the pandemic. At kung sila'y patay na sa oras na ito, I would like to solicit the name of your lolo at lola in silence so that we can pray them and to ask God to intercede on their behalf that they may be able to rest peacefully in the bosom of our Lord. At tayo po bilang naging bahagi ng journey ng mga lolo at lola natin, one day magigirin tayong mga lolo at lola. Dami ko pong mga spiritual grandchildren. Yung bininyagang ko, nag-asawa, nanganak na, tapos ako pa rin yung nagbinyag sa kanilang mga apo. Yun, the spiritual grandparents. Magigit yung mga lolo't lola, pero iba-iba ang kwento ng mga dumaan sa ating buhay. Sana po, maganda ang kwento ng inyong tahanan. When you go back to that memory of our grandparents, at kapag nagkwento ang grandparents natin, sana it is a story of joy. It is a story of love sapagkat kung may hinuhugutan man tayong isang inspirasyon, saludo po ako sa mga senior citizens. Kaya ang sabi natin, stay safe, stay home. Kahit kayo po ay fully vaccinated na, ingatan pa rin ninyo ang inyong sarili. Mga anak, ingatan natin ang mga lolo't lola, sapagkat kung sakaling, may tinitingnan tayo sa buhay, walang iba, kundi ang kanilang nagawa sa buhay natin at walang iba, kundi ang kapakanan 
ng kanilang pagmamahal that we become what we are. Sabi po nga nila, what is mission? Mission has two phases. One is an activity that we do. The other phase is, is a spirituality that our act of becoming and what we do. Kung si Lolo at si Lola, maraming ginawang kabutihan sa atin on the process na bago tayo. Katulad ng parabolang ito, it start with a simple beginning, but it has a hidden transformation. Katulad ng ating banal na pagdiriwang ng banal ng, ng, ng misang ito, it has a hidden transformation. It begins with a simple beginning. Presence, sacrifice, communion on the process. We become the builders, the proclaimers, and the bearers of the good news. Please rise. With the prayers of saints Joachim and Anne, let us ask the Lord to build us a home like theirs where the Blessed Virgin Mary felt the warm and love of family life. We pray, Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may rejoice at your salvation, that many prophets and righteous people long to see and hear, we pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may cherish the memory of godly men and women in the scriptures and imitate their virtues, we pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may cherish the home of Saints Joachim and Anne, where Mary was surrounded by their faith and love, and where she learned to listen to the Lord and to follow his will, we pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may cherish the role of grandparents in family life in transmitting the experience and wisdom of their lives, we pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. That the elderly may wait for the call of the Lord from life to a fuller life with the happiness of the old man, Simeon, who had seen the salvation of the Lord. Lord, let every generation praise you. Lord God, you prepared the Virgin Mary to become the mother of your son, even while in the womb of Saint Anne. To the intercession of saints Joachim and Anne, make our home as heaven of peace and love. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the next time. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homemates and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you are praised to in the company of your saints and in the crowning their marriage you crown your own gifts by their way of life you offer us an example by communion with them you gave us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and with with them the imperishable crown of glory through christ our lord Amen. and so with all the angels and archangels and with the great multitudes of the saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy holy, holy Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of light and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with princes of our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Margaret Mary Alacoc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With the love of Christ, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of Lamb God, Lamb of God you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, the of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For those who will receive communion, you do not have to leave your seats. Please stand and the Eucharistic minister will approach you. Do not take off or put up your face shield. Just remove your face mask. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you gave your children 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer for the elderly and grandparents. All together, God, our loving Father, you are the source of life and of all gifts. You lovingly sustain us at every moment of our lives, and you bring us to fullness of life in Jesus, your Son, and our brother. We thank you for the wonderful gift of our grandparents and the elderly. You have given them to us to be our guide as they share with us the wealth of their experiences and the wisdom that they have gained through the years. We thank you for making them witnesses to us of your abiding presence and care at every turn and change of life. We pray that you bless all of them with joy and peace, with satisfaction at the fruits of their labor, and with the faithful love of their family. Strengthen their trust in your healing mercy in the face of the mistakes and sins of the past. Grant them the joy of companionship of their loved ones and friends. Protect them from all harm and evil that can obscure their vision of eternal peace and joy in your kingdom. Give them the patience and courage to bear the cross of sickness and weakness of the body. Help them see their sufferings and discomfort as they're sharing in the Paschal mystery of Christ. Grant us all, their family and friends, the grace of firm conviction and faith, in the value and dignity of every human person created in your image and redeemed by the sacrifice of your son on the cross. Make this help us to continue to support, respect, and love them. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercy, provide for your servants and ensure their safety so that strengthened by your blessing, they may all at times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with unending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Stop.